Why should you become a leader rather than trying to become an expert? There's a really simple explanation to this and uh, let's start with the expert. An expert is someone who has extensive knowledge and, and experience in something and, and that's a good thing in the long run. The bad thing is if you try to come up and, and portray yourself as an expert, that's not going to be believable and you ain't going to get any followers or fans or clients with trying to be perfect and being an expert. By becoming a leader, you're actually not saying that you're the expert, but you're the one with the vision and you are leading people from something painful towards something rewarding and something that people want. Once you understand this, it, it becomes so clear what you should do. Because if you see yourself as a leader, then you're gonna have followers. And if you think about it, people who you follow and people who you look up to, they've all been leaders in, in some way because you can't really become an expert if you're not the leader first. So the way I see it, there's an evolution to this. So the evolution goes like this. We all start out as observers. That's when we are kids, we, we learn stuff and, and we kind of try to figure out how things work. And once we've observed enough, we start to become followers because we start to choose who we want to follow and, and what we want to follow, our interests, our, our heroes, and, and, and so on. After that, after being a follower, you start becoming into the face like, oh, I have so much information. I want to become a creator. I want to do something. I want to build something. And, and this is the, the creator phase when we kind of find out what we really want to do and what we are good at by doing. So the next natural progression, once you've been a creator for long enough, is that you become a leader because you've found yourself in that creation and, and you, you are starting to take stands on, on opinions and, and things and, and viewpoints that you want to lead people towards. After you've been a leader for long enough, you become the expert. So this is the evolution and I think many people get confused about this whole thing because the majority of people are observers or followers and most people today who are, are creators, they think that creator is the, the end point and, and that's why a lot of people struggle to get any results because in the creator phase, you're actually just trying to find yourself and, and you try to express yourself, but nobody really cares about that because you're not leading them anywhere. And once you accept the role of being a leader, that's when the traction starts to happen. And uh, once you reach the expert position, you don't actually have to try anymore because you're your image and your reputation already lives in people's head. So today's video is going to be all about transitioning from creator to leader. And how do you do that? A really simple way of doing this is going back to your values. I've made a video about values. You can check it out here. Your values are, are the guiding principles in your life and, and in your business and in your brand. Then you can go on a mission and have your values as, as leading guidelines. And let's take, for example, the nine to five corporate job and uh, a freedom entrepreneurial path. These are two different extremes. So you want to take people out of their nightmare, the, the nine to five that they hate, the, the, the shitty salary and the angry bosses toward a life of more freedom, more possibilities, more autonomy, and, and so on. And that's a really common thing in, in the online world. And, and that's something I wanna also contribute to by making these videos and, and really empowering people to, to follow their dreams. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky because 
most people want to have like this vague idea okay i want to help people feel better i want to and it's just like there's no specifics in it and, and to become a great leader you have to start with a specific person that you take to a specific place the more specific you can make the person and and find out what their specific dream is that's gonna be more impactful and and for me i've concluded that i want to help people who want to build a purposeful business or a brand that's actually going to help the world make the world a better place and and so on and i've even pinpointed it more down to mostly i want to help people broaden awareness mental health and 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 kind of finding the own power so every business and company and and brand that has to do with this I want to help them become more impactful and better at what they do. And this is what I want to lead people to do. People with ideas who want to help the world, who want to see this a better place for their future generations. I want to help them with branding and, and coming up with creative solutions on how we can make that a more impactful thing. Because imagine this, there are these huge corporations like coca-cola and 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 all these big mcdonald's and and these th these just huge entities imagine if they would actually make people feel better if if it would advance humanity and and uh, there wouldn't be this much of uh trying to get all the money out of everything and and this kind of maniacal egoistical thing that yes i just want the most power and i just want the most money and i don't care about the nature and i don't care about the future like that world is possible and that world is where i want to lead people into so more awareness more compassion more love more enjoyment and and not the the struggle and uh everything needs to be difficult and hard and and uh, we need medications we need all kinds of shit that just costs a lot of money i don't believe in that i believe there are much better solutions and and even technology can help us do that so this is just an example of how i want to lead people and i want you to come up with five things that you stand against and five things that you take people towards and and this exercise is actually you can just start writing down things okay what do you don't want to see in the world what what are you against and then you start writing down like what do you want to see perform better what do you want to improve and, and once you have this list, you can brainstorm this for several days. And, and once you have this list, you can kind of removing those that aren't that important. And then you come down to, let's say five. And these are the big five ideas that you wanna use in your content and, and, and marketing and your products and, and everything that has to do with your brand. And if you're, capable of doing that and aligning everything in your brand and your business to these three to five big ideas and you consistently repeat this over and over again you are gonna start pulling in people who have like similar values and and similar dreams and those people are the ones who are gonna be like oh i really want your help i see we have a similar view i want to connect with you oh this really resonates with me that's how you actually get clients that you don't need to hard sell to or, or just like have these shady tactics. This is how you make more money. This is how you manipulate people into following you. I believe the point is being honest and, and being open. Once you get that leader status, it's much easier to to get people to actually follow you because that's why they are followers. They want you to lead them somewhere. They're like walking behind you. One more thing about being a leader. A leader is never perfect. If you think that you need to be perfect and you need to be this like perfectionist leader, that's not gonna work. 
you need to be vulnerable you need to be relatable and as a leader if you share your imperfections you share your struggles you share how hard it is to actually be the leader you're gonna get much more compassion from your followers and they are gonna be like wow he's actually one of us he just wants to to put his effort into making our life better because that's that's essentially what business is about you want to help people to get what they want the problem that has been in the past was that people weren't that aware of what is actually good for them and then there was those marketing tactics and and these shady like manipulation stuff on on yeah this is good for you but it's actually not good for you and this is there's a, a book by Seth Godin, like all marketers are liars. It's based on the principle that once people understood how to manipulate others, it's easy to kind of sell and it's easy to trigger emotions, but the actual product isn't necessarily that good. I stand for only products that actually are gonna make your life better, that actually help you to become a better version. And, and this way we can really make a positive change in the world instead of the negative consequences that has led to this world we have today. Yeah, it's, it's better than ever, but I can see it's so much better if we just started to vote with our dollars into more ethical and purposeful businesses, products, food, all these things. And, and this is what I want to see and I strongly believe that I will see it. I might be the tiniest tip of, of this whole mountain, but if I can become even a small leader in this movement, then I've played my part. So think about this, observer, follower, creator, leader, expert. That's the evolution of humanity basically and uh, you just need to be aware at which point you are and probably most of you are in the creator phase you're finding yourself you're finding out what you really want to do what you stand for and once you find out those you can become a leader that starts leading people towards a common dream and this is how you build a community this is how you get followers this is how you become impactful so become the leader that that you truly are from the inside and you just have to believe it and if if you have the smallest urge to be a leader and you have a vision of of making something better you're selfish if you're not doing it if you have just limiting beliefs and you have something like some own obstacles because you don't think you can do it that's the most selfish thing you can do is to keep the information for yourself you need to put it out there. That's the only way we can make this world a better place. I think it's Naval who says that I hope to see 6 billion entrepreneurs. If everyone starts to do and create and, and be leaders, we can have small packs who leads each other. And uh, that's just an amazing thing. We go away from the huge systems into smaller communities that we can lead and, and we can kind of keep that economy going and everybody will have a happier life. So step out of the, that creator mindset and go into the leader and, and really position yourself with your values and that's gonna make a difference and people are really gonna follow you who feel and resonate with your messaging, okay? I hope you like this video. Please comment what you think on this concept of uh, observer, follower, creator, leader, expert. And uh, I hope you have a nice day. Stay cool. See you in the next one. Peace out.